In the last lecture, we rendered the confirm delete component dynamically into the DOM by executing some code. Now in this lecture, what we are going to do is, we are going to learn how we can pass data to that dynamic component and also how to listen to the events which the dynamic component is emitting from our code. So currently what is happening is when I click on the delete button, it is showing that confirm delete component, but there we are not seeing the username. And we are not seeing the username because we are not passing any user object to this confirm delete component. If I go to VS code, there to this show confirm delete function, we are passing the user object which we are deleting, but we are not using it anywhere. We are not passing it to this confirm delete component. Let's see how we can do that. So this line here, it is going to create and render the confirm delete component in the web page. And it is also going to return us a reference to that component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. I'll call it component ref. You can name it anything. And let me make this R in caps. Okay. So here this variable, it is going to store a reference to this confirm delete component in the memory. Now, using that reference, we can get the instance which has been created for that confirm delete component. So here I can say component ref dot instance. So here we have this instance property and this instance property, it is going to give us the instance of the confirm delete component, which has been created. And on that, we can access all the properties of confirm delete component class. For example, in the confirm delete component class, we have this user to delete property, right? So we can access this property and to that we can assign this user, which we are getting as the parameter for this function. With this, if we save the changes, let's go to the web page. Now, when I click on the delete button, you will see that the name of that user is being displayed, which we are trying to delete. Currently, this OK and cancel button will not work because we are not listening to the events. So let me refresh the page again. And if I try to delete John Smith, for that, if I click on this delete button, you will see in the message it says, are you sure you want to delete the user John Smith? So this is how we can pass data to the dynamic component when we are creating it programmatically. Next, what we also want to do is, if I go to the component class for this confirm delete component, there we also have this on confirmation event. So what we want is whenever this event is emitted, we want to remove this component from the DOM. That means we want to hide this component. And also if the user has clicked on cancel button, we will not do anything. But if the user has clicked on OK button, in that case, we want to delete that user. Let's see how we can achieve that. So again, let's go back to user component.ts. And again, on this instance, we are going to access this property and this property it is basically an event so let's go ahead and let's access this event for that again we'll say component ref dot instance dot and then we have this on confirmation event and what we are going to do is we are going to subscribe to this event so whenever this event will happen we will come to know about it okay and to this subscribe method we need to pass a callback function that callback function is going to receive the data and this data we know it is going to be either a boolean value true or false because that's what we are emitting from this event right we are emitting a boolean value so we are subscribing to that event and the first thing which we want to do is since we know that we are going to remove this confirm delete component from the dom first we will unsubscribe from this on confirmation event Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'll create a property here and let me call it maybe on confirmation observable and I'll access this property from here. So here, this line of code, it is going to return us an observable, which we are subscribing to. So yeah, let's say this dot on confirm OBS. Okay, so the first thing which we will do inside this callback function, the callback function which we are passing to the subscribe method is we will unsubscribe from that observable. Basically, here it is going to return a subject and we want to unsubscribe from that subject. 
and for that we are going to use the unsubscribe method on this on confirmation OBS observable so this is the first thing then what we want to do is we want to remove this component from the DOM okay so when I click on this delete button and when this OK or cancel button is clicked we want to remove this component from the DOM for that we are rendering that component inside this container view ref right so what we'll do is we will simply say container view ref dot clear okay let's see if the changes let's go to the web page and let's see if it works so i click on this delete button the confirm delete component has been rendered and it has been displayed when i click on cancel button it has been removed let me click on this delete button again again the confirm delete component has been rendered when i click on this ok button it has been removed so that is working as expected but when we are clicking on this ok button it is not deleting the user so let's also write the logic for that and we have already written that logic somewhere so here we have that logic so let me copy this if statement from here and i'll paste it here okay now here we don't have this value but we do have this data and in this data that value will be stored which this on confirmation event is going to emit and it is either going to emit true or false so this data it is either going to store a value true or it is going to store a boolean value false so we are going to use that data here inside this if statement let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and when I click on this delete button, when I click on cancel, it will not delete the user, but it will remove that confirm delete component from the DOM. But if I click on this OK button, so currently we are trying to delete Sara King. If I click on this OK button, it should delete that user. And you will notice that that user Sara King, she has been removed from this list. So that user has been deleted. So this is how we can pass data to a component which we are creating dynamically by using its instance and accessing its property and assigning it with some value and if we want to listen to events which that component can emit again on the instance we can access its event and we can subscribe to that event and keep in mind that it is always a good practice to unsubscribe from an observable explicitly and i know that once this event is emitted I'm going to remove that component from the DOM. That's why before removing that component from the DOM, I want to unsubscribe from it. So this was all about dynamic components in Angular. We learned how we can create a dynamic component and how we can render it in the DOM using NGF directive and also how we can do it by writing some code. Now, as I have mentioned earlier, I strongly recommend using ngif for creating dynamic components. There are rarely situations where you absolutely need to use this approach where we are writing some code in order to create and render a component dynamically. Using ngif is much easier and there everything will be taken care by ngif directive. So this was all about dynamic component in Angular. This is all from this section. If you have any questions related to dynamic components, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.